Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and the master taster of whiskey.com. And today I'm tasting a Connemara single malt whiskey from Ireland. Very peaty, very smoky. I tasted that whiskey already mm, more than 10 years ago. And it was then the first and only peated whiskey from Ireland. And not from the two big distilleries from the very north and the very south, but in between on in the Republic of Ireland, close to the border of Northern Ireland in the Cooley distillery. Yeah, the name Connemara is from a natural park in the northwest of Ireland. And that's a very picturesque rural area. But the whiskey is from the east, north of Dublin. So uh, you can see this whiskey is made for the tourists or the Irish Ireland lovers worldwide, which know the area of Connemara, but not uh, the east the northeast of the Republic of Ireland. So there the marketers have done a very good job to take that Connemara name for this whiskey. But um, it is very, very special because it's a peated whiskey and it's a single malt. I would say 95% of all Irish whiskey is blended whiskey or single pot still whiskey, which is then made from malted and unmalted uh, grain, grain cereals. And uh, this one is a real single malt whiskey. It comes from the uh, Cooley distillery and that was a, a vodka distilling company uh, before 1988, I think, then it was bought by uh, the Teeling family and then converted into a, uh, then uh, the vodka had been before and then there had been a pharmaceutical alcohol production company in, uh, in the buildings. And then I think they switched over to making whiskey. They still have those column stills in the building, in the tall building, where they still produce grain whiskies for all the blended whiskies from uh, the Cooley distillery, where there are a lot of them. The Kilbagan, I think, the biggest one. Uh, and uh, the Connemara is uh, only produced for part of the year when they're uh, using peated malt. So the amount of whiskey is not that big, but it's enough to, to sell that un, well, without an, an eight statement uh, whiskey. But there are uh, as well a 12 year old on the market and a whiskey uh, matured as well in cherry cast. So the Connemara, which started with this single bottle, uh, got some cousins uh, with an older or with an eight statement on it 12 years, which is quite expensive as all whiskey with an eight statement or nearly all whiskey with an eight statement in Ireland. And this distillery edition something, that's the Sherry Cass whiskey. It's 40% ABV, it's quite cheap. So it's in the low 20s euros, dollars, pounds probably. And uh, yeah, have a try. So this is quite difficult for me uh, because we have a green screen in the back and the bottle is green itself. So there might be some uh, flaws uh, in that green color. I hope not that we're able to, to cover that in the post-production, but I'm not quite sure. So Irish is always difficult uh, to have in the marketing, either here with a green screen uh, or in a printed advertisement because uh, all those offset printing machines have problems, problems with an ex, uh, intense green. So the, uh, the color space shows some flaws in the green. So typically uh, you need for tubes and card boxes and so on, you need an additional pure green 
uh, to get those colors fixed really. A little smoky, not too much, but, but the cork is not that wet. Yeah, smoke. So it's only 40% ABV, so we have to, uh, we do not have to dilute it, and it's thought for people to, to consume it directly neat. Yeah, peat smoke, not too intense, but there, growing stronger. Little sweetness, little honey, and then a clear, distinct smoke, but more bonfire than stinky <laughs> PT note than hospital. More bonfire. It's not that intense as the uh, whiskies from the not far away Isle of Isla. This is probably, I would say, around 30 ppm, not too intense. So you are able to smell different uh, aromas between the smoke. With other more intense smoky whiskies, you have to wait quite a time until your nose adapts to the smoke and says, well, I have enough smoke. Let's look what's <coughs> below that. Yeah. A little sweetness. Mm -hmm. Silky, smooth, friendly, and then after that, the smokiness after swallowing, you have the smokiness. It's in your mouth. Little sweetness, malt sweetness, honey sweetness. In the end, more and more, the smoke takes over, covers your mouth. Intense, very long aftertaste, even for those 40% ABV. And smoky, smoky, yeah. Now I would say it's more than 30 ppm, but in the beginning, in the start, with the first nose, it was not that intense. Now after swallowing, it's definitely heading <laughs> towards 40 